learn to drive a gup as well as you do in just one easy lesson. Hi, matey. Tonight, I'm going to teach you everything I know. And then I'll surprise everyone with my advanced gup driving skills. Ah, uh, just one thing. Let's not wake up Tweak. No need to worry her about us taking out the gups for a little driving lesson. Right. Let's go. Oh. Shh. Sorry. After you. Now, I'll take cup B, and you, Shellington. Oh, uh, sorry. Shh. <laughs> I'll take cup B, you take cup D, and remember, just do everything that I do. Yow! Sorry. <sighs> Shellington! Yes, I'm coming! Uh, let's see. Uh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Not bad. You're driving like a real swashbuckler. Now, remember, watch closely and do as I do, matey. <laughs> Jumping jellyfish, that's impressive. Your turn. Just put your paws on that steering wheel and go super fast. Right. Uh, that's not what I did. Uh, all right, let's try it again. Uh, turn yourself back over, matey. Now, watch me again and do exactly what I did. Just do exactly what Quasi does. I did it! Right. Well, we've crashed the gups, but it doesn't look like we did much damage. Uh, oh, whoops. Should we sound the octo alert? What? No! Uh, Tweak's not the only one who can fix gups, especially when all they're missing is a few thingamy bobs. Here's what we need, the emergency toolkit. Uh, do you really think we can make the repairs ourselves? Of course. We'll have these gups fixed up faster than you can say, um, batcha, scratchy, catchy cat paws. Oh, well, uh, I guess the first thing to do is to find the missing parts. Exactly me plan, matey. First, we find the... Look, I've already found my steering wheel. See, this is going to be easy. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't just let go. Why not? I'm a moray eel. Once I bite down on something, I can't open my jaws unless I swallow whatever it is I'm bitten down on. And I'm sure you don't want to swallow a steering wheel. No, I don't. Don't worry, matey. A little help here, Shillington. Gotcha. Well, thanks. My name's Murray. And you guys are? Shellington and Quasi. Now, let's put this back where it belongs. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. I'll fix that with nothing more than my bare paws. Great work, Quasi. Listen, I don't mean to be nosy, but what are you guys doing out here on the reef at night anyway? Ah, uh, we had a bit of an accident. And we've lost some parts of our gups. We won't be able to go home until we find them and put them back on. None of our business, of course, but how many parts are we talking about here? Oh, good question. Let's make a list. Two orange rivets, two yellow rivets, one headlamp cover, one green console button, five carrots and one spring coil. Oh, that's a lot of little parts. And this reef has a lot of nooks and crannies and a lot of ways to get lost and never be found. If you know what I mean. I see what you mean, matey, but we'll just have to search every cranny. And nook. Listen, I don't want to be pushy, but here's a little advice. If you want to succeed out here on the reef, you need to work with the right fish at the right time. You've got to cooperate. The only fish we know on the reef is you, matey. Then you're in luck. Come on, I'll introduce you to some pals of mine. So, Trooper, what do you say? Will you and the guys help my new friends find what they're looking for? <sighs> I don't know, Murray. We're groupers. We usually hunt for food at night on the reef, not little gut parts. 
Do you have any fish biscuits on you? What? Oh, yes, I do. We have food. <laughs> And there's more where that came from. I've got a big stash of fish biscuits in the gut B. And you can have every last crumb if you help us find our parts. Ooh, you got yourself a deal. OK, fellas, let's show them how we work. We eels don't see too well. So Trooper here and the rest of the groupers spot the food. Or in this case, a piece of your gut. But sometimes the thingy is inside a little crevice between the rocks. We groupers can see it, but we can't get to it. So we signal the eels like this. <laughs> yeah. And we going after it. Moray eels are experts at getting in and out of tight grips. And that, gentlemen, is how it's done. Lovely jubbly. Fascinating. You groupers and eels cooperate when you hunt. We sure do. Sounds like we're ready for Operation Cooperation. Yeah, that's catchy, that is. for Tweak's carrot shooter. We can't go back without that. And we need to hurry so we can get to the octopod before morning. Uh-oh. I saw your coil, but it's nowhere groupers or eels will ever go. Are you talking about... Uh-huh. Stinger Rock? <sighs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. What Stinger Rock? That Stinger Rock. It's a rock covered with anemones, and they sting big time. Big time. <sighs> I bet Tweak would come up with the perfect thing to pry that spring loose without getting stung. Hi, Kitty. Then we'll just have to think like Tweak. OK, so it's not as cool as something Tweak would make, but this doohickey should do that tricky. Good luck, Quasi. Excuse me, anemones. Almost got it. It's coming loose. It's... <laughs> we got, got it. Fellas, that's how you do it. That's real cooperation. Now, let's go fix that carrot shooter and get back to the octopod before everybody wakes up. <laughs> It's fixed. The gups are looking good. we better head back. It's almost morning. Thanks, Murray and Trooper. We couldn't have done it without help from you groupers and eels. Yeah, looks like Operation Cooperation was a success. It was a pleasure doing business with you, gents. Follow me, Shelton, and be careful. Aye, aye, Quasi. <laughs> You're up early. <laughs> yep. Looks like you two been out on a little old adventure. Uh, but we're back, and uh, as you can see, these gops are in perfect condition. <laughs> oh, in perfect condition. Not a scratch on them. Oh. Uh-huh. Looks like your steering wheel's a little loose there. <laughs> I miss. Don't worry, Cap. We'll fix up those gups faster than you can say. <laughs> Bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. <laughs> We're coming up to the trench, Captain. Excellent, Dashy. Steady as she goes. That must be it. It looks really deep. Let's find a safe place to set the ship down near the trench. Prepare to land. 
shiver, whiskers. The sea floor's all pink and wiggly looking. Dashy, pull up. Now. I'm on it, Captain. We'll have to find another place to land. That looks like a good spot. Captain, I noticed we changed course. Is everything all right? I don't know, Shellington. What do you make of that? Fascinating, Captain. Those are sea pigs. Sea pigs? Yes. Sea pigs are creatures that live in the deep ocean, but they don't swim. They walk around on the seafloor with little legs. And it looks like they're walking straight towards the trench. That's not good. If they fall in, they won't be able to swim out. That's a long way to fall, matey. That's not the only problem. Sea pigs eat bits of food that drift down from the surface of the ocean. And hardly any of it gets down that far. Aye, so they'd be stuck and hungry. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, a large herd of sea pigs is heading towards the trench. We have to stop them before they fall in. We'll need guffs A, B, C, D, and E. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Attention, sea pigs. You must turn around. You're walking straight towards... Oh, food. Yum, yum, yummy food. No. It's a very deep trench. If you continue on your course, you will... Please, listen to me. The trench is really deep, and there's no food for you down there. Food, you say? Of course, that's it. Captain, I think the sea pigs may have picked up the scent of food on the other side of the trench. They can smell food from very far away. Then we'd better find whatever it is the sea pigs are smelling and bring it over to this side of the trench for them to eat. Quasi, Tweak, Dashy and Shellington, you come with me. Peso, stay here and keep an eye on the sea pigs. Aye, aye, Captain. Stop! There's no food down there. This must be what the sea pigs are smelling. Yeah, those fellows actually eat this slimy stuff. It's rotten sea kelp that's fallen down from the surface. For sea pigs, it's very healthy. Healthy or not, I reckon it smells awful. I'm glad I've got this helmet on. <laughs> It'll take forever to gather all this up. Captain, the sea pigs are getting closer to the edge. You have to hurry. Uh, but there's no way we can get this slop over to the sea pigs in time. Unless... Octonauts, stay here and load this into the gups as quickly as you can. In the meantime, I think there might be a way to distract them. Yes, I know it smells, but we need to make something even smellier. Can you use this to cook an extra smelly feast for a huge herd of hungry sea pigs? And fast. Tunip, that smells awful. Great work. I'm sure the sea pigs will love it. <gasps> Captain, I can't hold them back any longer. And you won't have to. Flappity <laughs> flippers. They're turning around. Steady as we go, Tunip. Hold her here while I unload the sea pig's feast. Super, Uh-oh. Hey, 
Also, the Gup X is sinking into the mud. We need your help now. On my way, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Peso. Let's hope that guff of yours can take the strain. Okay, Tunip. Full reverse power. Oh. has fallen into the trench. I need you to go after him, fast. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else, some of the sea pigs have followed the Gup X into the trench. We need to rescue them, too. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. <laughs> as fast as you can. We're going to make a sea pig whirlpool. Sign of Tunip and the glider. No, Captain. They they disappeared. Request backup. We need more than backup, Quasi. We need a plan. Food. And I think I might just have one. It's no good. Tunip could be anywhere. That's why we're going to sniff him out. All right, little sea piggy. Food. Find food. Oh, food. Mmm, smell food. Over there. Whee! Captain, what? There was still some of the sea kelp cake left on top of the glider. Our friend there is sniffing it out. Look there. It looks like. Hello. <laughs> Tunip. Super, super. You did it! Hooray! Well done, guys! Thanks for your help. I don't know what we'd have done without you. Ooh, food! More food! <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> they sure do like that smelly stuff. Which is more than can be said for poor Tunip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Leo. Everything up here looks good. Now let's check your tentacles. Checking. Checking. Still checking. Just one teeny tiny tentacle to untangle. This won't hurt a bit. Ha-cha! Oi-ya! 
there, all better. Oh, you are the best doctor in the whole ocean, Peso. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> Your stingers seem to be working just fine. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I love to just hug, but it never seems to end well. It's all right, Leo. I'm wearing a sting-proof suit. Besides, you're a lion's mane jellyfish. It's what you do. Ah, you're right. It's how I protect myself and my friends. <whistles> if any big fishes, huh, like that one there, try to eat my friends, huh, I keep them the old zapparoos. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? <laughs> That's right, Leo. And you're always giving us food. We couldn't be happier. Which one of you fish would like a checkup and a sticker? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tunip, we are officially done fixing up the bubble engine. Let's fill her back up with water. <laughs> And remember, when the water reaches the launch bay jack, close the front door. <laughs> Easy as pie. But first, let's make sure the area outside the octopod is all clear. No creatures in the area. We are all clear. Ready, Tunip? Tuba, tuba! Blast off! <laughs> <laughs> now let's test your tail fins. Swim to that big rock as fast as you can. Huh? <gasps> Leo! Hey, okay, Janet, we're gonna close the door right about now! Ouch! <laughs> What is it, Trick? We got a situation down here. What kind of situation? I describe it as a tentacle type situation. Leo? They so? Please, can I have my stick up? Oh, and one other thing. The octopod's about to blood! Huh? Whoa! Ouch. to get you and your tentacles back into the ocean. <gasps> but what about my friends? Those little fishes are in the big danger. I must leave here at once. <laughs> oh, oh. Leo, stop. You'll hurt yourself. Aso's right. Please, let us help you and your friends. <laughs> OK, but please be quick. <laughs> Tulip. Leo's stings don't seem to bother him. Will you stay here and keep Leo company? Super couple. Leo, on my honor as an octonaut, we will get you out of here. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, swim to the HQ. And wear your sting proof suits. <laughs> Octonauts, these tentacles belong to a lion's mane jellyfish named Leo. He's stuck in the bubble engine. And everywhere else. Of course. Tentacles this long could only belong to a lion's mane jellyfish. Lion's manes are the largest jellyfish in the world. As long as a blue whale, their tentacles often provide protection to smaller fish. <laughs> oh, no! Dogfish! Those fish are in serious danger without Leo around. We need to act fast. Our mission is to untangle these tentacles and protect those fish. Captain, it's been my experience that tentacles untangling tentacles is never a good idea. I'd have to agree. But I could protect these fish. I don't have stinging tentacles, but I do. Aha! Shoot ink! Okay, Professor, but please be careful. Of course, Captain. Peso, you're an expert at wrapping and unwrapping bandages. Any tips? It's all in the flipper. 
Following sounds. Hup, cha, hui, ya! Hup, cha, hui, ya! Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. This is kind of fun. Dashi, would you like to give it a try? Hup, cha, hui, ya! Tweak? Hmm, uh, where might those fish be? <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> Out of our way, octopus. That's our lunch. <laughs> and it's getting cold. I'm a Dumbo octopus, to be precise, and I must insist that you seek lunch elsewhere. Or what? Or I'll be forced to use my tentacles on you. <laughs> You're no lion's main jellyfish. Those don't sting. Now, out of our way. Hmm. I did warn you. <laughs> and now we make our getaway. No, 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 I can't see. I can't see. There they are. After them. Okay, Captain. Your turn. <laughs> Octonauts, the HQ is now all clear. Let's spread out and untangle the rest of the octopod. <laughs> Inkling, how's it going out there? Uh, well, Captain, we're surrounded on all sides by dogfish. I'm not sure how much ink I have left. We need Leo out here. And fast. Understood. Tweak, tentacle report, please. Well, Cap, the sleeping quarters are all clear, as are all the chutes and working areas. All that's left is... The bubble engine. That's the tangliest tangle of all. Octonauts, this will take all of us working together. No, Captain. It's too complicated. It's not even in the book. I need to do this one on my own. Mesa, what is going on? When can I live? We've just got one last tangle to take care of, and it's a big one. Tunip, I'll need you to step outside. You can do this, Peso. <sighs> Leo, this will be over in a second, and you may feel an uncontrollable need to laugh. <laughs> Captain, we are fully untangled. Amazing work, Peso. Octonauts, prepare for super flush. Tweak. Hold on, everybody. Three, two, one, flush! You're going home, Leo. Plank your password. Oh, no! I've got this one, Paso. Phew, just in time. Ha, oh, it feels really good to be untangled. And all of your tentacles seem to be just fine. <laughs> then I think I'm ready for my sticker. Can I have my sticker too, please, Peso? Heal me! Yes, please! <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see how my biggest patient is doing. Ah, I can't wait to see if your patient's really as big as you say, Peso. Here we are, the coral reef. Where's your patient? Captain, I don't see anything big. 
It's right here, Quasi. My patient is the coral reef. What? Of course. Coral reefs are made of coral, which is alive. The coral reef needs a checkup just like any other creature. That's true. The coral reef is home to lots of different animals. So if anything happened to the coral, they'd have nowhere to live. Aye, that is a big patient. That's not good. What's wrong, Peso? This coral is turning white, Shellington, which means it's getting sick. There's another white spot over here. <gasps> Peso, you'd better take a look at this. Oh, no. The entire coral reef is getting sick. If anything happens to it, all these creatures will have to find a new home. There's only one thing to do. Quasi, Shellington, I need you to find me a small piece of healthy coral on the seafloor. Aye, aye, Peso! Let's go! Captain, I'll need to borrow your hydro drill. What are you planning, Peso? An emergency coral transplant. I drill a tiny hole into the sick coral. Here you go, a piece of coral. Perfect. Now, I'll put this piece of healthy coral into the hole and... There! That's a coral transplant. The piece of healthy coral will help make the sick coral better. Look! Great! We've saved a coral reef and just in time for lunch. I don't think so, Quasi. Look at all those white spots. I'm going to have to do a lot more coral transplants to make this reef healthy again. And we're going to help you. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the coral reef is sick. Our mission is to help Peso do as many coral transplants as it takes to make it healthy again. But the coral reef is huge. What's the plan? Dashi, you, Quasi and Tunip will search for healthy pieces of coral on the sea floor. Shellington and Professor Inkling will sort through them to find the healthiest ones. Then Tweak and I will drill tiny holes in the reef and Peso will put the coral pieces into the holes. Now, everybody got it? Got, got it! Octonauts, let's do this. If we all work together, the reef will be healthy again in no time. <laughs> Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. Oh, spiky sea urchin. <sighs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. What was that? <laughs> huh? hm. Someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> huh? Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. What are you doing here anyway? Want to play with us? We're blowing bubble rings! Yeah, I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. Thank you, Dashi. Have a look at this one, Shellington. Ah, this one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Jumping jellyfish. <laughs> Tag, you're it. <laughs> oh, my. There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady, steady. What you do? Lappity flippers. Cool. You want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. 
Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They What's this? They love to play with each other and make up new games. <laughs> hey, everybody, check this out. <laughs> I've got a sponge on my nose. <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose. Sponge nose, sponge nose. <laughs> <laughs> There. Oh. Ah. Oh, this is starting to get out of hand. Attention, dolphins. We have very important work to do. If you could please just play. <laughs> Bet you can't catch me. Oh, enough is enough. Huh? Ah. Oh. Whoa. Uh, easy now. I just want to... Um... See how long you can hold on. Look out! Whale shark straight ahead! Nice catch! Thanks. Are you okay? Yep. Thanks for the warning back there. So, what should we play now? Sorry, but playtime is over. We octonauts are trying to save the coral reef. I need to get back there. What's wrong with the reef? It's very sick and we're trying to help it. We find pieces of healthy coral and put them into tiny holes in the reef. Oh, so that's what you guys were doing. Find the coral, put it in the hole. Hey, that kind of sounds like a game. Can I play a help too? Hmm. Well, we do need all the help we can get, but, um, what could you do? Find the coral, put it in the holes. Find the coral. Hey, I found a piece! Ah, that sea sponge on your nose is a pretty good tool for finding coral in the sand. Found another one! Do you think you could show the other dolphins how to do that? Of course. Grab on, I'll give you a ride back to the reef. Let's go! Ready, everybody? Ready! Ready. With all of us helping out, we'll be finished in no time. Find the coral, put it in the hole. Find the coral, put it in the hole. I reckon I can find five pieces of coral before you find one. You're on, matey! Mm. Another healthy one. Thank you. Ah, that's the last one. Here you go. Thanks. There. We're finished. The reef is starting to look healthier already. Hooray! Great work, everybody. Dolphins, we never could have done it without your help. There's just one more thing. What is it? Tag, you're in! <laughs> <laughs> this little reef is only a few years old, but it's already full of life. Aye, this reef is busy, even if it's not very big. Hey, it's big enough. Who said that? I'm right here. Show yourself. 
Oh, here I am. I'm a frogfish. Name's Anton. Wow, oh, you look so much like the reef. I didn't see you there, matey. That is the idea. I'm camouflaged, which means I blend in with what's around me. It keeps me safe from bigger fish who want to eat me, like those sharks. Sharks? Everybody hide. Oh. Hmm, I thought I smelled food. Let's head to a bigger reef. Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> you fooled them, matey. Fascinating. These other fish can't blend in like the frogfish, but the reef has lots of places for them to hide. This reef keeps us and all our friends safe. It is our home, sweet home. Oh, look out! Whew. Sorry about that. We fixed the pedals, but now the Gump F steering isn't working right. Aye, and as soon as you fix the steering, something else will break. I know. But she's the first Gump I ever built, so I can't give up on her. Maybe if I pedal a little faster. Yep, that's good. Are you all right? Yep. But now I gotta fix the steering, the pedal, the rudder, the top, the bottom. Ah. Is there anything on the Gup F that doesn't need fixing? The seats are still comfy. Oh! Captain, the storm tracker shows that there's a hurricane on the way. Octopod to Quasi, Shellington and Tweak. There's a hurricane heading your way. And it's moving fast. Take cover in the guts. There's not enough time to return to the octopod. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll ride out the storm in the Gup Sea. Very good. Barnacles out. There's a hurricane about to hit, matey. Storm coming. Oh, everyone take cover. Are you all all right? Hi, Captain. The Gup C took a pound in, but she's still in one piece. Wish I could say the same about the Gup F. <gasps> the reef! Oh. 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 Jumping jellyfish! There's nothing left. Where's Anton? Ahoy, matey. Glad I found you. Oh, I'm not. I mean, if I'm that easy to see, then I'm not camouflaged. How will I hide from the sharks? We can't hide either. Hmm. I see what you mean. Captain, the coral reef's been destroyed, and these fishies need a new place to live. We have to do something. Agreed. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, the reef dwellers need our help. Their home was destroyed by the hurricane, and now they have no shelter or protection. Maybe we could move all the fish to another reef. There may not be enough time to move them before the second part of the hurricane hits. Second part? A hurricane starts with strong winds and waves that stir up the ocean. Then there's calm like it is now. But that's because we're in the quiet centre of the storm, known as the eye. After the eye passes, it's followed by winds and waves even stronger than the first ones. But the fishies will never survive that without a reef. Hmm. What if we build them a new reef? Ah, you're talking about making an artificial reef, Captain. Artificial reef? An artificial reef can be made out of anything. A sunken ship or even an old train carriage. Algae, sponges, coral and plants attach themselves to it. And that attracts fish who 
and make it their home. But what could we use to make an artificial reef? Well, the truth is that the Gulf F isn't much of a Gulf anymore. <laughs> but I reckon it'd make a great artificial reef. Super, super! Great idea, Tweak, but we'll have to work fast. The first step, we should cover the Gulf F with algae and coral, Captain. Using lots of sticky limpet glue. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Spawn. Much better. <sighs> well, what do you think? Oh, it has plenty of places for me to blend in. And plenty of hiding places for the rest of us. I say, let's move in. Uh oh, hold on, everybody. Don't touch anything yet. The sticky limpet glue still needs time to dry. Captain, the second half of the storm is coming in quicker than we thought, and it's going to be big. <laughs> Cap, the glue hasn't hardened. Everything we've put on will get washed away. Oh, no. Oh, We'll get washed away. I'm scared. Oh, no, it's a tragedy. This is a disaster. Don't worry, me hearties. We Octonauts always have a backup plan. Anybody got a backup plan? Ugh. It's a shame the artificial reef doesn't have a helmet like we do. Hmm. Maybe we can give it one. Hatch seal. Okay, Tweak, lower the tow line. Now take it away, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Easy now. And down. Oh, wonderful. So much. The dome will protect the reef cap, but if it takes a direct hit, I can't guarantee it'll hold. Dashi, can you give me the exact direction the hurricane will hit from? Sending it to you right now, Captain. Octonauts, we'll line up the guffs A, B, D, and E and form a wall to stop the hurricane from hitting the reef too hard. And I'll use the Gup C to try and keep the dome steady. Stay close together, everyone. Hurricane force current will hit in five, four, three, two, one. Brace yourselves. Perfect for frogfish like me. And for us, too. we love it. Yeah, right. for all of us. Wonderful. Well, Quasi, I admit that the gut bath was never the fanciest gut, but I'm proud to say that it sure is the homiest gut. This is oh, wonderful in here. Oh, I am no longer so Fergal of the Sharky. Why aren't there fish or any other creatures swimming around here? Aye, where'd all the little fishies go? Ooh. This is creepy. It's like a ghost town down here. 
Ugh, you mean a gross town. Shellington, what is this green mess? It's algae. Algae is a common plant in the ocean, but there's a lot more here than usual. <laughs> yep, all this slimy algae keeps clogging up the octopod faster than I can clean it out. <laughs> Sorry about that, Dashie. Didn't see you there behind me. <gasps> A boss, mateys. Over here. What is it, Quasi? Look. <gasps> <laughs> Professor Inkling. Do you see how slowly those lobsters and crabs are moving? I do, Shellington. Very strange. Do you think it has anything to do with all this algae? <laughs> Hmm, not sure. Though this does seem familiar. <laughs> These creatures are poorly. We have to help them, Captain. Agreed. But first, we have to work out what's wrong. <coughs> oh, poor little fellow. What do you make of this, Quasi? Never seen anything quite like it. Psst, come on. This way. All this algae seems to be making them ill. <laughs> Professor! Have you ever heard of such a thing? I've observed this problem before, but where? <gasps> Hold on, Shellington. I can check my books. To the library! Cap, look at this. There's a leak in this pipe. Hmm. I wonder if that could be part of the... Hmm? Oh! Ah! Oh no! The octopod is taking off without us! We've got to catch the octopod! Octonauts, to the gups! Octonauts, we've got to get back on board the octopod. Yuck! More algae. Quasi, activate windscreen wipers. Aye, Captain. Gup A to octopod. Gup A to octopod. Come in, octopod. Professor Inkling, this is Captain Barnacles. Can you hear me? Please come in. Got A to Octopod. Is anyone there? Come in. Hmm, now, where are my books about algae? I know they're here somewhere. No one's answering. That's odd. I was just talking to the professor a few minutes ago. I hope he's okay. Maybe he's taking a nap. Ah, if it's not the professor, then who steered the octopod? <gasps> ah, here we are. Algae. Uh -huh. uh, lots of algae. Uh -huh. Lots and lots of algae. Captain Barnacles, if I can just get close enough, I think I can grab the octopod. Go for it, Tweak. Gotcha. Bullseye. Woohoo! Well done. Whoa! We've got to get back on board the octopod. Are you with me, Quasi? Aye, matey. Peso, you drive. Me? Aye, aye, sir. Octonaut, let's do this. That 
was a close one. Thanks, Captain. Come on. We've got to get to the Octo Hatch. Professor Inkling could be in trouble. <laughs> All about algae. Everything about algae. Everything else about algae. <laughs> She won't open. Let me try. Sometimes it takes some polar bear strength. Combined with some cat like quickness. Ha! To, to get, get the, the job, job done. done. Hey, follow me. Quasi, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Shiver me whiskers. The octopod was taken by these crusty little fellas? Ahem. Uh oh. Run for it. <laughs> <laughs> We give up. You've got us. Why did you crabs and lobsters take the octopod? <laughs> and uh, why are you all coughing and wheezing? I ain't gonna lie to you. Me and my friends here, we were feeling ill. <laughs> so we, um, bothered your octopod? Because to get better, we had to leave our home and go someplace where there isn't so much algae. Jumping jellyfish. So all that algae was making you ill. But where did all that algae come from in the first place? Hmm, I wonder if the water's polluted. Polluted? Yes, that's when things get into the water that shouldn't be there, which could make the algae grow until there's too much of it. But what's polluting the water? Yeah, the leaky pipe. That's right. The leaky pipe we saw must be putting something bad into the water. What about the other creatures that are still there? They may need our help. That's right, Peso. And that's why we're going back to fix that leaky pipe and clean up that extra algae. I've got it! It's right in this book. The water's polluted, which is causing too much algae to grow, which is making creatures ill! <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Octonaut, let's clean up this water. Ready. Right away. I'm on it, got it, Cap. Welcome home. We've cleaned up the extra algae and fixed the leaky pipe that caused the algae to grow too much. Mmm, just right. Yeah, much better. Thanks, Octonauts. Sorry for taking your ship. Now you won't have to leave your home ever again. Or run away with your octopod. <laughs> 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 I think that means go. Captain Barnacle to Octopod. Octopod here. Go ahead, Cap. Tweak, Peso. Our trip to the beach is in a bit of... Trouble. What kind of trouble? 
a completely stuck kind of trouble. In fact, I don't think we're going to make it home. <gasps> In time for dinner. <sighs> Captain, Quasi, where are you? Stuck in a rock pool. We were so busy exploring that when the tide went out, it left us in. We'll just have to make the best of it. Yow! Did anyone bring a beach ball? All kinds of creatures get stranded in rock pools until the tide comes back in to free them. Look at this beautiful shell. We'll have to wait here for an hour until the tide brings the water back in again. Peso, you're in charge until we get back. Me? Right-o, Captain. I need you to keep a watch on things until we get back to the octopod. I'll, I'll do my best to keep everything under control here. You can do it, Peso. Barnacle's out. <laughs> Sorry, we'll play again later. Right now, I have to get to HQ. <laughs> Looks nice and calm out there. That's good. Let's check the radar, Tweak. I don't see anything unusual on the radar. Hmm. That's good. Let's listen for any unusual sounds coming from outside the octopod. No unusual sounds out there. That's good. That's not good. It sounds like a, a creature who needs help. We, we've got to do something, Tweak. We've got to, to... Sound the octo alert? Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, I've got to find whatever's making that noise. Don't forget to use the camera on the gub. Yes, so we can see what you see out there. Remember now, we're right here, ready to help you. Um, Peso. Oh, right, okay. <clears throat> Open the Octo hatch, please. You got it, Peso. <laughs> well, Professor, Peso may be a little shaky, but he's doing fine. Yes, Peso's never too frightened to help. Once he's learned that something might be in danger, nothing stops him. <gasps> it has to be nearby. I hear it, but I don't see anything. Peso, use the camera to help you look. Righto. Oh, oh, flappity flippers, what's that? <laughs> hmm, I believe it's a hermit crab. Not dangerous, but very unhappy at the moment. Right, time for a checkup. Hello, my name is Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. Can you tell me your name, please? Oh. Get me out. OK, Mr. Get me out. Oh. Now, this won't hurt a bit. Oh, my name's not Get me out. I want you to get me out of this shell. I'm oh, stuck! Oh. Ow! Oh, it's no use. Here, maybe I can pull you out. No! Oh. Ow, that hurts! Sorry. Oh, I told you it was no use. Don't worry, we'll get you out of that shell somehow. I know someone who can help us. What do you think, Tweak? 
I'll cut open a shell with my Octo Slicer, and he'll be free easy as pie. Uh, here, uh, now what are you doing? We're going to remove the shell for you. We'll just cut it open and... Stop! Please stop! Oh, hello. Stop? Why? Listen, I'm almost too big for the shell I'm in. I need a new one, and that shell is just right, just right! It may be too small for him, but it's a perfect size for me. He's not the only hermit crab around here, you know. <laughs> oh, well, let's get on with it. If you cut that shell in half, it'll be ruined, ruined! I'll never find another one like it, and believe me, I've looked. If you don't mind my asking, why do you keep changing shells anyway? Oh, because hermit crabs can't grow their own shells, so we borrow the shells of other animals for protection. We move into one shell, grow up, get bigger, and then move to a bigger shell. So what can we do, Tweak? Maybe I could just cut off the shell and then try to glue it back together. That's too risky. I think we need a new plan. Captain, we have one hermit crab who needs to get out of his shell and another who wants to get in. We have to safely remove the crab from its shell. There's only one thing to do, Peso. We have to perform a crabectomy. Captain, I've never performed a crabectomy before. Even when I was in medical school. Just watch out for those pinchy claws. I'll talk you through the whole operation. I had to perform an emergency crabectomy once in my polar bear cub days. Righto. And I promise we won't damage that shell. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Step one, steady the shell. Step two, fasten the hose. Step three, prepare landing pad. Ready, Tweak? I really hope this works. Me too. <clears throat> Captain, we're ready for the crabectomy. All right, Peso. This should take five big pumps of air to push him out. You'll have to really put some muscle into it. Flippers in place, Captain. All right. On my count. Five. Four. Three. Oh, two. One. Yay! We did it! Well done, Octonauts. And especially you, Peso. Your first crabectomy. Thanks, Captain. How are things in the rock pool? It looks like the tide's coming in. Octonauts, we're going home. Yay! Where did he go? It's perfect. Huh? Thanks for the new shell. See ya. Oh, so now he's got my old shell. What about me? No shell, no protection, no nothing. I'm naked. What am I going to do? Hmm. <gasps> it's the Guppy. They're back. Hey, so. Ta da! Oh. How's this? Oh, 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 lovely. Home sweet home. I think that should last you a while. <laughs> if you need someone to decorate your new home, we do know a decorator crab. <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Macy. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.